hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today we are going to continue on our matrixes solution or solutions to some matrix problems on this particular video we are going to determine the inverse of a matrix we are going to do what we are going to calculate the inverse of a matrix now the first thing is that um, we just highlighted the major steps you are going to take um, there is another approach where you multiply your matrix with um, the identity matrix but we are not going to use that approach on this video we are going to use the approach we want to explain to you in the next couple of minutes and again if you are having any issues maybe you are having any academic issues on this particular topic you can always contact us and then we'll get back to you because uh, the application of matrix is in actually in mathematics or as we said earlier you can apply it in adjustment computation and any other aspect where it is needed so it's very important you have a very good knowledge of it so let's start or let's continue so we are having a three by three matrix which is this matrix a and we want to determine what the inverse of this matrix and again we told you that we are taking it in different stages we are going to use the manual method we are going to show you how to get the same result using your calculator and also using what microsoft excel so you just have to stick around and you see the processes or you see the different approaches and then you appreciate them all together now the first thing is what you find the determinant the next thing you find the cofactors you find the adjoint and then you now find the what the inverse so these are the steps we are going to follow in order to what to get to the inverse of this word a matrix so as we rightly said first determine the determinant which is what a bar or the determinant as it has been indicated here so as we've explained on our previous video how do you get determinant we might not really spend much time doing that remember that the signs here are alternating so we have plus minus plus right you can always see that video on the channel so you have a um, plus minus plus so which means there's a plus sign here there's a minus sign here and then there's a plus sign here that's a convention good so for us to get the determinant when we pick a1 here when we pick a11 which is one we are not going to consider the whole of this column and we are not going to consider the whole of this row so we're only considering what minus four and five and minus two and three so what do we mean by that we we'll bring we we'll brought out one so the next thing is what minus four and five which is what minus 20 minus there is always a minus sign then minus two times three which is minus six so that minus sign minus six will now give you what plus six hope you get it because by the time you multiply it the next thing you're going to do here is subtraction so by the time you want to do subtraction this and this has already given you minus six so that minus times that minus will now change to what plus you got the gist right good you can always pause take your time assimilate it then you what you continue can we move on good now the next thing is what you come to this second one told it has a minus sign that's why you're seeing this minus here in front of the two are we together good so since we are now considering this that means the whole of this column and the whole of this row has been eliminated so we have three times five and then minus two times what five so three times five is 15 minus two times five is what minus 10 so since there is always a minus there minus times minus will give you what plus that's why you've seen it that it's changing to what it's changing to plus here yeah. then we come to this last one the whole of this row is out this column is out so we have three times three nine then minus four times five which is minus 20 because there is still another minus there so it changes to what plus 20 so by the time we simplify we have what um minus 20 plus 6 which is minus 14 times 1 so it's still minus 14 then 10 plus um 5 or less 15 plus 10 rather which is 25 25 times minus 2 is what minus 50 then we have 9 plus 20 which is 29 times 1 which is what 29 so by the time you add all of them together you have what minus 35 that means the determinant of this matrix is what minus 35 the next thing is what we find the what we find the cofactors so how do we go about the cofactors 
we now try to give out the conventional notation remember that this is a1 this is a12 this is a13 but we just decided to use, leave it as a2 and a3 because of that's the notation we want to use for the cofactors this is b1 b11 b12 b13 c11 c12 c13 but for the purpose of the cofactors we are just going to use it as a1 a2 and a3 now this means by the time we want to get the cofactor for this element a1 we are only going to consider b2 c3 then b3 c2 what do we mean by that b2 c3 b3 c2 the same thing we did when we want to get our what our determinant so i think there is no much need for explanation remember what we did since we are considering a1 so everything on this row is what abandoned or we act as though we don't see it and everything on this column we act as though we don't see it so we're only considering this and we are considering this so the same approach we got the determinant we do what we use it and we got what minus 14 yeah so the next thing is we come to what we come to a2 so we are still not seeing this first row and we are now not seeing this what this second column so we're only seeing b b1 c3 then b3 and c1 what do we mean by that which means since we are actually at this stage now since we are at this stage of um two which means we're only seeing three times five which is 15 minus minus two times what um five which is 10. so that's how we came about 15 plus 10 which is what 25. now another thing is you have to take at uh, pay attention to the sign we told you that the signs are what alternating plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so that's how the signs are alternating so at each of the elements or each of the elements have their corresponding signs depending on how the signs are what alternating are we together hope you're following it up hope we are not too fast hope you're getting the gist can we move on <laughs> All right, we just have to take that break so maybe you just assimilate and then we move on good so we are now on what a3 how do you go about the a3 you exclude this particular column and you still exclude what the first what the first row so we are only considering b2 and b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so what do we mean by that b1 c2 what's b1 c2 b1 c2 is what this times this which is what 9 plus 20 is that not so we're having what 9 plus 20 which is what 29 so these are the cofactors on our first row on our first what on our first row so we now come to the second row which is what b1 to b3 so what's for b1 since we're on b1 we are not going to consider the of this first column and we're not going to consider the of this word second row so what we are considering is a2 c3 and then a2 c2 a3 c2 rather are we together a3 c2 then a2 c3 so what do we mean by that since we are considering this one which means we are only considering three here so for that reason we are not considering the of the elements here and we are not considering all the elements here so we are having only 2 and 5 which is 10 then 1 times 3 which is what 3 so we are having what 10 minus 3 which is what we have here 10 minus 3 then remember that the sign here is minus because this is plus this is plus minus plus so the sign here is minus that's how we have what minus here are we together so we have to leave you to check the other elements for yourself this is b3 let's see b3 which is this so let's come back to it which is this right so since we are considering this we don't need everything here and we don't need everything here so we only need two times five and then one times three so two times five is what ten then minus one times three which is what three so we have three minus ten are we together so since the sign there is minus so we have what minus seven but since the sign is outside as minus so we have minus times minus which will now give you what seven so that's how you go about it and then you get the cofactor so by the time you do that for all of the elements 
you find out that you'll be having the values in a matrix so this c is actually the matrix of the word the cofactor so the value you have for a1 a2 a3 those are the values we've written here so same thing for b1 b2 b3 then c1 c2 word c3 so which means we've actually gotten the matrix of our of our cofactors so the next thing is what we find the adjoint so adjoint of a matrix is actually what the transpose of the cofactor are we together the transpose of the cofactors and what is transpose you change the row to column and then definitely the the column will also change to row so what do we mean by that by changing the row to column we mean that this row one will become column one so instead of having minus 14 minus 70 we now have minus 14 minus 25 29 which is what you saw here are we together this row has been changed to column so it is now a column we come to the second row instead of having minus 25 0 and 5 what we'll now be having is what minus 7 0 and 7 so that's our second column so the same thing will happen here so we have 0 5 what minus 10 are we together please if you are missing it just always pause the video do it by yourself and then you'll get it good good all right finally we want to get the what we want to get the inverse and what's the inverse the inverse is actually the adjoint divided by what the determinant the adjoint divided by what the determinant and we've already determined or we already know the determinant as what we know the determinant as um where the determinant minus 35 good so since we know the determinant as minus 35 it means that we are now going to divide the whole of this adjoint by the determinant which simply means having it outside as maybe a factorized form or using the determinant directly inside the matrix so these two expressions are the same here we are having the whole of the determinant outside then here we are having the determinant dividing each of the elements of the word of this matrix so either case you've actually expressed the inverse so the next thing that is left for you to do is to simplify this minus 14 over minus 35 you have a value minus 7 over minus 35 you have a value 0 over minus 35 you have a value so that's how you go about it to get the final answers for what the inverse of this matrix the inverse of what this matrix i know it was a bit long it was a bit taxi and the rest of that but we believe with this explanation we've broken every form of missing trying to get the determinant and the inverse of a matrix remember the stages we followed the first thing is what you get the determinant you get the cofactors you get the adjoint and you finally get the word finally get the word inverse so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem yeah like mathematics or as the case may be we'll show you how to do this thing on your calculator we'll show you how to do this thing on microsoft excel as we'll show you how to do it manually you'll have to stick around on the channel and we'll see you on our next video till then keep being good surveyors good geomatic engineers being good at what you're doing even if you're a mathematician keep being good at what you're doing and we'll see you on the next video have a nice time bye